Welcome everyone! The Findracon plays Wallis and Gromit in The Last Resort. The second episode of Wallis and Gromit's Grand Adventure. First things first. Subtitles now. No hints. Graphic settings. How much do you want to bet that this will crash the game again? What did I tell you? But now the graphics are all set up. Time is half past 6 p.m. New game! Let's go. No, no, no. Start game. Telltale Games Production. In the last Help, Gromit, do something. Call the Coast Guard. about raining cats and dogs, our plumbing's in a right pickle. Fetch me my spanner, lad, while I stick me finger in the dike. Well, this is going to be a great gameplay. Okay, that was really bad. Just the job. Bring it here now, will you, lad? Here you go. Well done. Our troubles are over. Whoops. Oh crap. Mikey, that was a shock. Best trip the circuit breaker, lad. And stay clear of the water. It's electric. Super electric. Out, lad. The tide's coming in. Best find another way to the circuit breaker. Indeed. Yummy, have you gone, crackers? You'll get yourself electrocuted. Oh, we go. Uh, uh, ah, god damn it. The current's too strong. We'll have to find some other way to reach the circuit breaker. Yes, I know this. No way out, lad! Remember our toy train? Now that was a runaway ride! Yes, that's a really interesting story here, but we have a life threatening situation over here. Careful, up. lad! That's extremely volatile compressed rocket gas! Ex NASA! How did you even get. I don't even want to know. All right. Nope. I'm trying. Use the shovel. No. No, no, no. Where's that fast from it? Isn't this a pickle? I want that. The Doctomatic can't help us now, lad. It's only a prototype. Of course. Hmm. 
This isn't just a sticky wicket, it's water logged and all. Find a way to the circuit breaker, Gromit. Careful, old chum. Now we're in a pickle and no mistake. Yes, I said it earlier. Here, have this. No. If you can't reach that circuit breaker, we'll be fried. Throw it. No. I really can't leave. The tide's coming in fast, Romy. Clear, clear, lad, or you'll get cooked. Don't do it, lad. You'll blow yourself to smithereens. Lincoln, Nora. Well done, Gromit. Poor be fixed in a jiffy. Just a moment. Turn to the right. And now, it's safe to hit the light. That's better. Oh, there you are. Well, we'd best clean up. Back on that, there's a lot to do. Sorry about the unseasonal weather. I'm afraid it means we'll have to put off our little trip to the seaside. Unless... we bring the seaside to us. No. No, Wallace. No. No! Oh, God. <sighs> what could possibly go wrong Here, with this? Guy? We've already got a cellar full of water. Just a few more items. There we are. And we can enjoy the seaside from the comfort of our own home. Ho ho ho! Won't that be something, lad? <sighs> we'll stay home for the holidays and have our own beach to boot. Lucky the rain's let up for now. I'll be back in a trice with all the necessaries. Sun, sand, and beach umbrella coming up. Do I still have the map? No. Duncan. What are you doing here? Picking you up, lassie. With a date. Surely you're not still thinking of the beach. It's freezing cold and might rain any moment. Ugh, a little wet never dampened the spirits of my biscuit. Grab your wellies and we'll be off. Duncan, I really don't think so. You must admit, it's hardly beach weather, is it? It's perfect. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, hello there, Wallace. Come and meet Duncan McBiscuit. He's an old friend. <laughs> and of course you know my two precious darlings, Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee. Say hello to Mr. Wallace, angels. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, look, Gromit. It's your friends from next door. Cute little fellows. Oh, yes. They're show dogs, you know. Prize with us. <laughs> They're my pride and joy. Well, I won't keep you. No, 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 no. Duncan was just leaving. Leaving with you, lassie, for a day on the beach. But what if there's a cloud burst? I don't consider thunder and lightning very pleasant beach companions. But there's no thunder and no lightning. Can you hear any thundering? Any cracking or booming? Well, can you? Maybe I can. Just hush your tongue a moment, will you? Okay, I know what to do now. 
It does look cozy in there, but I'm set on gathering the goods for our beach. Yeah, but you need... Yeah, can I hear no thunder, can ya? Not even a wee tinkle. I suppose not. Better be careful, or I'll be in the cellar faster than you can say secret trap door. Indeed. No beach supplies in there. I know, you just... Let's just go, we'll be causing the time delay. Hey, can I... No. Let's go now. I'm still kind of... We must act now, before the flood! Gather the townsfolk! We'll stack the sandbags to the north, south, and east. Still time, if we hurry. Look lively now, soldier! No, 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 you can't dump these sandbags here. Just, just, just wait a moment, Major, please. Stop dithering, you dunderhead! The town's being swept under! There's now being swept under, Major. And you're beginning to be a public nuisance. Hey, don't talk to the general like that. Afternoon, Wallace. That's quite a light, Mr. Paneer. It's a searchlight. I say, no shortage of candle power there. Bright as the sun, don't you think? Wonderful for bringing in the big spenders. When the weather's fair, that is. I wonder, Mr. Paneer, where might a person acquire such a light? I'd be happy to lend you this one, but if the weather warms up tonight, I'll need it to advertise my super soar away sizzling summer sale. Oh. Apples. Oh, yeah. It's a stack of still. Oh, he lost cheese. Oh. The earth-shaking roar of thunder? <laughs> uh, well, actually, uh... It doesn't matter when it comes to the complex question of climate. A person should never really rely on his own senses. Only the experts really understand the weather. Oh? Indeed. Wait a minute. I Have a pleasant day. day. Oh, I can give it. Okay. Yeah, I, I my videos are still kind of. Uh, uh, um. Yes, soldier, out with it. Uh, well, uh, if you'd like to unload these sandbags, I know just the spot. Just as I told you, the people are pleading for sand, and we've got to give it to them. I'd like to give it to you, you loony old goat. But if you've got a need for sandbags, Wallace, I hereby grant you permission. Oh? You grant permission? Indeed. Take all you want, Wallace. Infernal cheek. I'm the commanding officer here, you jumped up Jobsworth, and I hereby revoke permission. Can't you be cooperative just this once, Major? Cooperative? Don't know the meaning of the word. Sounds subversive to me. All right, Major. How about this? Why don't we ask Wallace here who's in command? This young Pongo? Hmm. Very well. Why not? Tell us, soldier, who holds rank here? Remember your training? I'm... Well, the constable is, uh, an officer of the law. Aha! Like I told you, I call the shots in this district. The sandbags are yours, Wallace. They are not! But you're the one who wanted to dump them, Major. That was before you walked in and tried to usurp my authority. Wallace! Kindly tell the Major here who the officer in charge is, will ya? That's right, so uh, Inform this non-combatant nincompoop where his duty lies. 
Who find flavors that work well together? We are talking about who's in charge, not flavors. Just a moment. Are you saying that instead of bickering over who's in charge, we should be working together as a team, like uh, steak and kidney? Uh, are you saying that in a crisis like this, we must act as one? Like a well-trained commando unit. <laughs> Actually, it's a sign. Exactly, a sign that we can now rise above our squabbles. Very well then. Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll send these sandbags off with you. Thank goodness. Well, I'll be off then. I can hear an hot meat pie calling me name. Yes, I can. Ernest Dibbins. It's saying. It's tea time. Fetch the blinking ketchup, Ernest. Now then, soldier. All I need is your requisition form. Requisition form? That's right. Got to play by the book. Can't let the spies sabotage operations, can we? Spies? Surely you've heard about the spies from abroad. They're everywhere. Don't look so rattled, man. Just bring me your requisition form, and you'll soon be neck deep in splendid sandbags. Oh, right then. Okay, 30 times to choose. I still haven't decided the exact length of my videos. You, most of the time, because I usually forgot to glance at the clock whenever I start recording. This time I did, so I probably will be keeping them at maybe 20, 20 to 30 minutes, as they usually have been. Hello, hello. So yeah, uh, enough of the rambling, let's keep on, we keep on with the game. Afternoon, Mrs. Gabberly. Hello, Wallace. Lovely weather, isn't it? Well, uh, I... I'm joking, Pat. I know it's rotten. Had to cancel me holiday. That's a shame. Certainly is being stuck with all misery guts here. I heard that! He don't miss a word I say, except when I ask him to do summit. Ah, sitting behind a till all day ain't exactly hard labour. What would you know about hard labour? I could run this place a sight better than you. If I had a mind to. If you had a mind. What will it be, love? It's good to see you, Wallace. But where's that clever dog of yours? Oh, just doing his chores around the house. Oh, he's a good one, he is. Yes, indeed. Let's see about Looking this. Looking for something to read? Take your pick. I'll put it on your slate. weather on the way tonight, they say. All set. Hey, make sure he don't nick any sweets. Mind your own business. That old misery guts thinks he could run this shop. <laughs> he couldn't run a bath. Indeed. ta -ra, Chuck. Hey, you. Give me a map. Thinking weather, eh, hey, Wallace? It is rather gloomy. Like my business. Not a single customer all day. My sizzling summer sale has lost its sizzle. No, no Perfect beach weather. Hmm. I'm sure Miss Flip won't mind if I take just one. Hey, Romit, help me. Does look no, but I'm set. No, no, from it. Help me out here, miss. Have faith, lad. West Wallaby Street's first indoor beach will be ready in a trice. Sun, sand, and beach umbrella coming right up. I see no reason for that. Oh, me 
weather ahead, I'm afraid. We are not interested in some fancy pants weather forecast. Oh, I'm interested. Don't you trust them scientists? They can't tell the future. If they could, they'd be rich and have girlfriends and that, wouldn't they? A real man trusts his own senses, and my senses tell me it's a bonny day for the beach. Don't cut you. <sighs> Okay, so I've been playing for 20 minutes, or maybe 10, 15 if we forget about all the cutscenes and things like that. Nice to see you, Wallace. And I'm stuck. No beach brollies left. Sorry, a big burly bloke bought the last one, and he weren't very polite about it. Two fine flavors that work well together. That's a nice sentiment. I'll see you later. Indeed. I can't look at this thing anymore. Yes, I can. No mm. water shortage this summer, that's for certain. Hey, you. Up there. Afternoon. Changed your mind, did you? Go ahead and swap, love. Never imagined you was the sporting type. Found what you wanted, I trust. We'll see. See you later, alligator! Oh! The constable likes oh. to keep a tight lid on irregular activity. The constable's off performing important duties, no doubt. Oh, yes. What's in here this Prison's an unhappy fate. I once had a friend banged up in there. Uh, never mind, I'll be quiet. Some prison. <laughs> really telltale. Perhaps this. Perhaps you can produce some proper paperwork, eh? You, Scottish person, you like rugby. You're stereotypical. Not interested. I refuse to go out in a thunderstorm. Och, that's neat. Maybe I can hear thundering. Just button your bagpipes from... You can't hear no thunder, can you? I suppose. Can I just feel this? I say, that's a handsome beach brolly. Perhaps you'd like to borrow it. You're most welcome. We won't be needing it as we're not going anywhere. Oh yes we are, lassie. Oh no, we aren't, Duncan. You can borrow the brolly once Duncan and I have finished our little discussion. Wait, Felicity, don't make me now. Can I throw four flowers at you? Perhaps not. Oh. Better be careful. Oh, we can't use those anymore. Hmm. Miss Flip doesn't like poachers, and one is my limit. I really don't know what to do at the moment. But it's okay because, yeah, I've been playing for 25 minutes already and most of it has been cutscenes. So I'm gonna call it a wrap here and tomorrow we'll try to, 
yeah, tomorrow we'll try to get things work. I am Finn Dragon. Goodbye, everyone.